When a city worker started getting lewd text messages from a supervisor, she took a stand. Now, she expected the city to support her, but what she got instead were more lewd text messages. Matt Grubbs explains in tonight's special assignment. Sun, fresh air, fresh cut grass. After a series of assembly line jobs, it sounded pretty good to Natalie Leva. I wanted to be outdoors, and I got a job at Parks and been there since. As you can guess, her job for the city of Albuquerque's Parks and Rec Department has been something less than the dream she planned. I got sexually harassed by a supervisor. In the summer of 2013, eight years into her job, Leva says she began to get text messages from a supervisor, Robert Sanchez. Well, he would text me to send me, send him pictures of my boobs, and I would tell him, don't ask me to do that, I'm not going to do that. You know, I figured if I would tell him from my own voice that he would understand. Leba told her boss, too. But summer turned to fall, and Leba says nothing happened. The text messages kept coming. He didn't take it seriously. A supervisor, he ended up sending me a picture of his penis. And I was disgusted, and I just couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. Natalie Leba wasn't working directly for the supervisor when the texting started. And she says other than to tell him to stop, she didn't respond to any of the texts. But then she got assigned to work the parks in his part of town. And that's when she decided to show his boss the photo. When he saw it, he said he would have a talk with the man whose name is Robert. Once he talked to Robert, that Robert had just said that was the most dumbest thing he's ever done. But that was it. Leba says she couldn't believe it. Finally, she went to an employee counselor, she says, which forced the city to investigate. It was hard and it was scary. I didn't know how to go about it. I've never been through this and I didn't want to experience this. Leba took about a week off. When she got back, Sanchez was gone. Not because he was fired. Leba thinks the city let him retire. And everyone in the office knows he's gone because she spoke up. They know, everybody knows what I've done. What she's done, Leba says, is sacrifice her career by standing up for herself. Doors to new jobs in the department should have been opened, she says, but despite seniority, she's still working the same job. I feel like I'm the one that's suffering. I didn't even do nothing wrong but just stand up for myself. Leba filed a whistleblower lawsuit this week. The city wouldn't talk to us about that or any of Leba's allegations for this story. She says she's had enough and seen too much to work another decade plus in Parks and Rec. Yeah, I don't know if I could go through it. It's just hard now, and it's only been a few years. But I'm trying to do the best I can. I have kids to raise, and I'm just doing it for my kids. Matt Grubbs, KRQE News 13. Leva is suing Robert Sanchez and the city for damages under the state's whistleblower law. Now, the city would not comment on the case, but late tonight did confirm that Sanchez retired in January of last year after the city began investigating Leva's complaints. We did reach Sanchez by phone this week, and he did not deny sending lewd texts to Leva. You can see his full response and learn much more about this story. Just go to krqe.com.